Miss Gloria. Do you know why you are here? I was called last night to come here. I don't know why. So I would like for you to go straight to the point and tell me where I'm there. Are you acquainted with Mr. Ronald Kletus? Yes, he was my boyfriend. Was? Yeah. And that means you are familiar with the situation regarding Mr. Ronald? He was found dead, right? Right. Also, are you familiar with the names Ada and Choma? Yeah. Ada is a good friend of mine, but I haven't really seen her in a while. Hey, interesting. You were both found dead in your apartment a few days ago. Jesus Christ. How? We were hoping you would give us an answer to that question, as we have witnesses pointing you as a suspect in both cases. Wait, what? You really do think that I'm responsible for both the death of my boyfriend and my friend? Miss Gloria, we are not pointing fingers here. All I'm saying is that I need to ascertain your location as of the first week of February. Look, I don't remember. I'm a very busy person. Ms. Gloria, being difficult to help neither of us. Me? Difficult? What? You're the ones trying to pin mothers that I have no hand in on my head. And you're here telling me that I'm being difficult. I will advise you to keep your voice down. You people are so incompetent. Like, I can't kill anybody. I'm innocent. <laughs> you see, every mother I will say the exact same thing. We have eyewitnesses describing you as a suspect for two crimes. And all you have to do to prove your innocence is to give us your location on the first week of February. Look, I don't remember, okay? And I don't have time for all of this. I have better things to do with my time. So if you will excuse me, I want to take my leave, please. I'm sorry, but we cannot do that. Hmm? You're the prime suspect in two serious murder cases. And the only way you are living here is if you can provide solid evidence to prove your innocence. Take her away. She must be joking. Don't touch me. Look, don't touch me. Hey. What's the meaning of all this? So I'm going to see you to cause. You guys are so stupid. Let me alone.
you doing here? I thought you and Philip traveled. No, I didn't go anywhere. I don't know where my brother is, so I came to ask if you guys know where I can find him. My brother said she had the family emergency and he needed to travel. I don't know about that, but I've not seen him for days and, and I've been calling him. He hasn't been picking up my calls. Although he don't taste bad, saying he's very busy right now and can't stop. I don't just know what's happening. I mean, this is no longer funny. We need to involve the police. And why are you going to? I'll be back. Why are you? We have something very serious we're discussing. You're telling me you'll be back. Why are you going to? I said I'll be back. And besides, Philip is a grown ass man. He can take care of himself. Here. You already know. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to kill anybody again. Well, if you didn't, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Everything is getting out of hand. I don't want to be implicated. It's fun, isn't it? Walking on the edge, nearly being caught, and then escaping. Admit it, Rosalia. You love the feeling, you monster. No, no, you're not a monster. Get away from me! Fuck. Hello? Do you need I, any help? I guess I do. I don't know what's wrong with this stupid thing. It just stopped walking. Can I see? Yeah, sure, go on. Yeah. Both the car. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I just wanted to help. That's all. By the way, my name is Rosalia. James. Okay, James. May I head it so I can drop you off? You don't have to do that. Oh, no, please. I insist. I have to say thank you somehow. Oh. Okay, I'm heading home. Well, then, help me so I can drop you off. 
Or better still, we can go to my place so I can host him. My brother said she had the family emergency and he needed to travel. I don't know about that, but I've not seen him for days and, and I've been calling him. He hasn't been picking up my calls. Close your eye. You love this, right? 